everyone and welcome back. So I wasn't too sure what to put today because this is the GeoGuessr day. Um, I do another day as well, but Wednesday's always GeoGuessr. And I've been going with my series for so long about making it around the world. I didn't know what to put here. So I'm still trying to figure out what is best. If there's a specific series, um, you know, road to ranked type thing or, or, or something like that. Um, I'm not too sure because I think that can be a little bit repetitive. Although maybe the maybe my last series was. I don't know. You let me know. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment below. But until um, I figure that one out, I'm still bringing you GeoGuessr. But today we're going to be doing the capitals of Europe. So obviously I'm European. Um, I may not be in the EU anymore, but I am still European. And I have traveled quite extensively across the world in Asia, Africa, um, the Americas and of course Europe because it's on my doorstep so I have been to pretty much every country in Europe. There are a couple left off uh, but I'm hoping I can identify the capitals at least so let's go and check it out. Okay so Europe's capitals. Uh, the capitals of all European countries and some extra. I don't know what that means. Does that mean that it's the other European like cities? So like Bristol, Birmingham in England or Nice in France and stuff like that? Or are we talking like the capital of the Philippines or something? I'm not too sure. Um, European. Oh, that should be an E. But uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully this is, should be a, a straightforward one for me. Should be. Uh, this is an easy one. So average score of 18,480. If that's what I'm aiming for. I want to get at least past that. I didn't do it on the last Weather Spoons, but I did it first Weather Spoons. So far, my last few maps, I have beaten the average all but once in the past like six months I've done these. So let's keep going. Oh, oh. Now, I know what I think this is, but I don't want to say it and be wrong. So, let's have a little move around. Okay. Hmm. Not 100%. I'm never a fan of being put into, um, into buildings, because, like... It, I'm in a building now. Um, <laughs> it's a lot harder to to kind of find things out. So, okay, we are in Rome. That was where I thought we were, but the wording on the first one, I actually didn't realise that didn't look Italian. And I was a little unsure. So, but, you know, we'll take that. Now that looks like it should be French, but of course that could be other places. That could be. Um, well, could it be Brussels or anything? I don't know actually. No, I mean, for capitals, again, we don't know if these other things are capitals or not. So I've got to go with Paris. I mean, it just makes the most sense. But I'm, I'm a little wary. Okay. Okay, I wasn't sure because it said and other places like I thought right well I don't think it would be Brussels because that's not the main language for the capital But it could have been you know Nice or Bordeaux. I, didn't, I wasn't too sure because it said about other places um, Okay Okay We want some words Strada Papa, no, Strada. Strada should mean it's Spain, I th think. Although, no, 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 that is dot R-O, so that means we're in Romania. I swear Strada was Spanish, but maybe I'm wrong. Let me know, anyone that's actually good at languages, unlike me, as many of you have realized, let me know. Now, I'm not looking for the exact street or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to find the right city. Okay. Now, this looks like London to me. But we want to be sure. Well, sure until I just go, that's clearly fucking London, you idiot. Um, <laughs> like, this must be. 
and that's like, this is where I find out it's Ireland. Uh, sports and fitness. That is Tesco. I mean, it's it's London, right? But it's it's more kind of outskirts of London. But I don't know where that's going to be. Let's just go. It looks a little bit nicer, so maybe up towards the Islington. Oh, okay. Other way. Where were we? Ah, we're near. We're not far from Richmond. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Vinkovo. Vinkovo. Don't know about that one. Do I recognise the airport? Oh, you know what? Is this where I think it is? No, this this road's too big. No, first glance I thought I knew, but maybe not. Is this uh, is this Moscow? It's Moscow. Feels like it possibly is. This is where I always muck up. Um, yeah, look, there it is, Mokba. Well, I know it's not said like that, but yeah. Okay, we will take that. Oh, oh, hello. That is actually, <laughs> that is actually my highest ever score. I have never scored higher than that because I've never got a perfect round. I've never got 25,000. So 24,552, I will damn well take. You know what? We're going to play that again because I want to see just how much of a fluke that was. Because if the average is 18,000, that's like one and, a, one and a bit of the rounds completely wrong. And I, you know, I don't consider myself the best in the world. So let's see. Although I have been doing better recently. This looks like London again. Especially the graffiti. Um, <laughs> but I could again be very, very wrong. So let's go and look at something. Wait a minute. Um, ah, you see? You see? Um, oh. See that? That platform. But then that's in English. I find it unlikely you would have... Ah, wait a minute. 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 That is the French flag. At least it looks like it. So, ooh. That said fucking Paris on it. So, I'm going Paris. I'm just confused as to why that would be in English. Okay. That was a strange one. That had something in English on it. Or was I just... Did I just suddenly understand French and uh, see it like in Doctor Who or something? Um, okay. Now this looks like England. This full on looks like England. That's the thing, England and France, in my mind, always look very similar to each other. Um, I've said to the Eco Labs, this is, this is England. Um, I, I, yeah. um, so I, I always kind of err on the side of caution when I'm looking at those ones. This one, these houses are so, so English. That's not central, let's go, let's go. Just out a little bit, there we go. Okay, a bit further down. Where was it actually? Near Croydon. They look bloody good for Croydon. Anyone been to Croydon? They look fucking good for Croydon. Um, <laughs> okay, where's this? Taxi. Taxi. Aroma. Oh, I know that brand. Aroma. I know that brand. Hmm. Okay. Not a lot to go off of here. What's that? Volley. Okay. Not a massive amount here. It looks like I'm actually like in the airport. Oh, wait a minute. Hello, Montenegro. <laughs> Presumably, I'm in Puerto Rico, but I'm near the airport by the looks of it. So, where is the airport? Um, actually, you know what? There's other bits of Puerto Rico. Like Let's just go there. Yeah. That was helpful. I've been to Puerto Rico. Very, very nice place. I would absolutely recommend anyone that wants to have very, very authentically tasting Italian food, weirdly enough, 
but with a slightly different background. Um, but really nice um, local foods there as well. Great street food. Um, wonderful church there as well, kind of cathedral, and uh, surrounded by mountains. It's beautiful there. Uh, but I knew the I knew the flag. The second I saw that flag, I'm like, oh, okay, Montenegro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, flags really help me out. Wait a minute, are we back? That's a black cab. We're back in London. Oh, for God's sake, yeah. That, if you haven't seen, is the British Museum. Now, I should, I could theoretically be able to find this in London, but I'm not going to freaking try. So I'm just going to go there. I was like, that's a black cab. That Nowhere else has black cabs, right? Because we have the knowledge, which is a fun one. Okay, last map. I didn't realise it was going to give me the same place kind of twice. I thought it would be a different city every time, so I wasn't expecting to see London. So I was a bit confused there. Um, okay, there's a mountain in the background. It could be a few different places. Um, ooh. Oh, I thought that was a place named N. Damn. What was that? Was that, was that something in our language? Uh, ooh, ooh, da, 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 I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. Oh no, that's not good. No. Oh no. Okay, so that that feels like it could be I don't know, something Czech or Turkish. That that thing above the sea, um Sola Ah damn. Okay. See, this is not as as much as I was hoping it would be straightforward. Levik Nikova. Nikova. Feels like maybe I am in this kind of area around here. That line. Probably completely wrong. I feel like I should know it. You know what? Let's just go there. Ah. Slovenia. You know what's really weird about that? Is I thought I'd seen the word Slovenia. That's why I went back and said, what's that? And um, and it wasn't Slovenia, but weirdly, that's what I thought I saw. Damn, I, I did not know that. I did not know the language well enough. And I thought, you know what? It's on this line somewhere down here. Ah, that's the biggest muck up. That's, I was like two countries apart. Okay. Still, 21,249. See, this is, this is the one where, um, okay, you know you knew it beforehand. But I think Rainbolt talked about the fact that all urban um, Europe looks the same to him. Um, but to me, that's actually the easy ones for me. If I'm in urban, if I'm in like the cities and towns and stuff, it's actually where I can tell the difference a lot easier than being in a fucking field. But Rain Belt, in a field, he gets it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm still figuring out what kind of uh, GeoGuessr series to bring you guys. But I thought, you know what? I've not actually done a European cities one. So I'd give that one a go. And apparently, I am improving even though I didn't realise. So uh, I'll take it. Um, I'm going up the ranks. I'm now in silver on ranking. I was bronze. I'm now in silver. I ranked up last week. So this is what happens when you practice, clearly. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you again next time.